بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویئرس محمد ناظم ود فورٹیتھ لیکچر اینڈ وین ایس اے فورٹیتھ آئی کین سی اے ہیڈ دا ٹارگیٹ اونلی فائیو لیکچرز اے وے ایز اے سیٹ ٹو یو ارلیئر دا کاؤنٹ ڈاؤن ہیز آلریڈی اسٹارٹیڈ اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو بی مینٹلی پریپیئر اینڈ آئی کیپ آن ریمائنڈنگ یو مائی ڈیئر فیلوز دیٹ یو ول بی آن یور اون Please do not give up the habit of doing a good piece of homework every day. I believe and I suppose when I talk to you on another important subject, you must have done some homework. Last time when I concluded my lecture, I said to you that I'll be talking to you on persuasive lectures. Persuasive lectures, another important subject. difficult piece of letter writing you must have witnessed you must have encountered how difficult it was to say no when no saying no is so difficult persuasion is even more difficult kisi ko kisi cheez pe kail karna majboor karna bahut mushkil especially more so in situations in in cultures where change doesn't come easy some are societies which do not accept change quickly and you know what i mean some are change resistant societies fortunately there's a good point as well fortunately or unfortunately we belong to one of the societies which is change resistant change doesn't come easy more so especially when you are dealing with a business where you really need persuading somebody motivating somebody to buy your product so persuasion is an art that involves changing the attitudes of a person changing the beliefs of a person changing the actions of a person ek shakhs ek hi kism ka libas pehenta hai ek hi branded product pe hook hai he or she is very happy using that product but when you want to sell that person a new product it is really difficult why should any person any individual buy your product when he or she is not sure either of the reward or one is not ready to undergo a risk because there is an element of risk involved i will tell you today that persuasion can be easy persuasion is possible provided you observe certain rules certain ethical rules certain principled rules people would listen to you people will change their belief system people will change their lifestyle but as i said to you earlier initially you will find people resisting it people pehle unka pehla attitude hoga they will resist you and that is why you will have to undergo a lot of planning process straight away kisi ko ja kar aap aasani se cheez bech nahi sakoge again bechne ka maqsad ye nahi hai that you have to force upon that you can't be trusting upon something it has to be done in a very rational in a way that you convince you have to convince the person that he or she can make informed choices you have to provide the information and tell the person that you got a choice and then when you bring that person to a level that there are so many choices for you phir kamal aapka hai ke aap us shakhs ko wo cheez bechne pe choose karne pe amada kar le jo ke aap chahte hain first giving an informed choices and then making that person choose what you want to sell or what you want that person to take an action this is called persuasion and as i said to you persuasion ke andar badi strategic planning ki zarurat hai straight away you cannot at random start uh, aggressively promoting any any anything aggression is not the answer for for persuasion and normally persuasive messages are long 
Persuasive messages involve a lot of hard work. Persuasive message, messages involve a lot of in-depth analysis. I will tell you later. Just like in oral communication, there was a lot of analysis. The audience analysis will go much beyond that. Because persuasion, keep in mind, basically changing the lifestyle belief system. Asking for a person to do something he or she does not already do. So, when I said that you have to do planning, a strategy aapne formulate karni hai, let's look at the planning process. What does a planning of a persuasive message involves? You are looking at the screen. Four things. First, you have to analyze the purpose. Aapko apna pehle purpose analyze karna hai. What is the purpose of writing a persuasive letter? I'll, I'll go into detail, but, but keep in mind, first is the purpose, you'll do the analysis of the purpose. Second, analyzing your audience. You've already done that earlier, but I'll tell you something more than a deeper analysis of the audience, which would involve the gauging of the audience needs, audience ki needs kya hai, and then considering the cultural differences, a very important element, especially in the case of persuasive messages. Third element is, you have to establish your credibility. I hope you remember, many oral communication mein kaha tha, ke credibility is everything. A persuasive speech mein aapko bataya tha. Ke credibility is one thing. People will listen to you, people will believe you, people will follow you. Because they believe that ye banda jo baat kehta hai, thik kehta hai. Ye galat kehta hai nahi. Iske ethical, moral standards hai. So, establishing your credibility is important. And the fourth element is, is striving for high ethical standards. Credibility doesn't come without standards. Morals, principles. So these four elements are important for planning. I will tell planning phase. Once we have dealt into the whole planning process, then we will come to the development, developing the process messages. Aye, let's see. One by one, look at the analysis of your purpose. What, when I say analyze your purpose, what do I mean? Basically, when I say that your one single purpose is to persuade people, that means you want your people to do something different, something new, which they are not doing. When you are thinking of making people do something, or believe in something which is new, you must keep in mind that people are busy. People do not want to take risk. They are reluctant to act because they know it takes time and they are not sure of the reward. Mujhe kya zarurat hai ye karne ki? Mera kya benefit hai? Lehaza, when you are framing a persuasive message, analyze. Also, you must not forget, when you are writing a persuasive message, there will be lots of other messages coming to the same person as well. Since we are living in a competitive world, aap jab ek persuasive message kisi organization ko bhejte hain, you are asking them to fund your project. You ask the, any, any organization to extend some facility. The question is, there must be lots of other people doing the same thing. And it really happens that in private organizations, those who extend such facility, those who interact with community, those who support, as I said to you earlier in my last lecture, the corporate social responsibility is another aspect of uh, modern organizations, modern professional organizations that work closely with community, communities. When they have funding ke request, aati hai, Facilities ki request aati hai. Or do si aati hai. There are so many requests. And all are trying to persuade them. What should they be doing? And every other letter tries to prove that their objective is very important. Their objective is something which is, which needs careful attention. As a situation may. 
only one persuasive letter would be which is close to the needs of the, uh, the reader. Us reader ki apni kya hai uh, closeness. Unki priorities kya hai. So therefore, you need to be very careful when you are drafting the, the purpose. That's why you need to analyze the purpose of writing a persuasive letter. It needs to be very authentic. It needs to be uh, put in a very uh, simple way and genuine way. Only then your purpose would be acceptable. Otherwise, it would be dealt with many other requests uh, in any, any organization would receive. Second important aspect, as I said to you, purpose ke baat, analyze your audience. Humne verbal communication mein audience analysis ke baare mein pehle suna. Suna hi nahi. We actually learned how to do the audience analysis. We learned what was the importance, why audience analysis is important. Aaj jab mein aapko dobara usi issue pe lekar aa raha hoon, what is the difference? The only difference is that here you have to do the audience analysis much deeper. You have to go deeper into the details of doing an audience analysis. Because writing an effective persuasive letter, you need to search common grounds. You need to find the points of agreement on which you will be building your, your uh, uh, statement. Aap apna persuasive message on commonalities ke upar base karenge. And that you will only know when you know what is the need. Aapka reader kya sochta hai. Iske liye mene jaise aapko shuru mein dikhaya that you have to first gauge the needs of the, of the reader. So when you are gauging the needs, you have to ask questions like, who is your audience? Aap ye persuasive letter kis ko likh rahe hai? Then, unki needs kya hai? Of course, ye humne oral communication mein Lekin yaha, little different angle. What you want them to do? When you are persuading them, what do you want to, them to do? And secondly, how are they going to resist to your... Because you are, you are playing with their belief system. Attitudes, unki lifestyle ke saath, persuasion ke andar. How are they going to resist? Ab yaha mujhe, surely you must have uh, read it, you, uh, must have been taught to you earlier. Maslow's hierarchy of needs yadari. Because when we are talking about the needs, then keep in mind the various levels of individuals the readers need. Maslow's hierarchy of needs me apne ye jana hoga ke ek insan ki pehle basic survival needs kya hai? Roti kapra makan, air, food, shelter. Once these needs are met, only then a person would think outside dusri needs, safety needs, security needs, baad mein aayengi. Pahle to roti kapra makan. If you are well fed, you, you can cover yourself, you have a shelter, only then you will go in for to ask for a person who is not even meeting these needs, you cannot ask for, you cannot sell a person. And likewise, coming to a higher level, talking up about the, uh, say, social needs, self-actualization needs. Jab tak aap, in needs ka khayal nahi karenge. Pahli audience kaun si hai? Kis level pe hai? Maslow's hierarchy mein kaha hai? Agar a person is ordinary, struggling with the everyday life, you cannot ask a person to buy a frigidaire. You, you, you are selling that. You are persuading a different lifestyle. Let me give you an example. In your organization, there is one of your employees who comes late every day. You can't immediately fire that person straight away. And you cannot persuade that person to please come on time. Unless and until you analyze what is the reason for that person to come late. Why is he late? Why is he late? Overtime lagata hai, zyada kaam karta hai aapki office mein, ya uski tanha kaam hai, wo koi aur bhi job shaam ko karta hai. Or that's why he works longer hours, sleeps less, 
और उसी इवन स्लीपिंग फाइव सिक्स आवर्स में ही कम्स लेट या उसकी कोई और नीड्स हैं आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव यू एग्जाम्पल बट देर आर पीपल हु जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कम लेट बिकॉज उनकी सेल्फ स्टीम नीड्स हैं वो आते ही देर से हैं बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट अदर रियलाइज आई एम द बॉस एंड आई कैन कम लेट बट यू हैव टू बी ऑन टाइम ये सेल्फ स्टीम है बट ऐसा बंदा जो कि लेट आ रहा है एंड यू नो ही इज कमिंग लेट बिकॉज ही ही हैज गॉट सेकेंड जॉब How would you persuade that? You won't fire that person straight away, but you will persuade that person. Look here, you have to come on time because the job is important to you. ये ना हो दूसरी job करते वक्त ये job lose. So this is persuasion. So meeting the needs by persuasion only possible if you have done the appropriate analysis. That is the gauging the needs. मगर यहाँ एक और चीज़ आपको बता देता हूँ. ये थी हमने डेमोग्राफिक नीड्स लेकिन एक चीज साइकोग्राफिक नीड्स भी हैं लोगों की और साइकोग्राफिक नीड्स क्या हैं बंदे का एटीट्यूड क्या है बंदे का बिहेवियर क्या है बंदे की पर्सनालिटी के ट्रेट्स क्या हैं साइकोलॉजिकल ट्रेट्स क्या हैं सो डेमोग्राफिक और साइकोग्राफिक नीड्स की भी आपने एनालिसिस करनी एंड वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द साइकोग्राफिक नीड्स बोथ दिस नीड्स बोथ द इंफॉर्मेशन आर रिलेटेड टू द कल्चरल बैकग्राउंड understand that is you have to analyze your audience from the angle ki unka culture kya hai demographic needs and psychographic needs jab tak in dono ko aap balance nahi karenge you will not be able to persuade a person you will not be able to convince a person to adopt a different lifestyle or different uh, attitude or uh, take up different action because you keep you have to keep in mind the culture which is linked up with the With the person of his or her demographic uh, information, which you have collected, so important element here is considering the cultural differences. If I tell you your opinions, some cultural differences, I tell you, you will see that even in that very setup, one needs to write a persuasive message, keeping in mind all the Europeans, but different approaches, like in France. You cannot have an aggressive posture. You cannot hard sell something, because French do not like that. Americans like that. Americans are very practical. Practical in the sense they want just going for hard sell. They want to sell the product. Approach is entirely different comparing the French and the Americans. Talk about the Germany. Germans, the people tend to focus on technical details. They go in for figures. They go in for. सपोर्ट ऑफ दी ऑफ द स्टेटिस्टिक्स विच यू प्रोवाइड ये ग्लोबलाइजेशन का जमाना है मैं आपको इसीलिए एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूं इफ यू राइट टू दैम इफ यू राइट अ परसुएसिव लेटर यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड राइटिंग समरी इन जर्मनी यू हैव टू गिव फैक्चुअल दे विल एस्टेब्लिश जो स्टेटिस्टिकल डेटा आप अपनी रिपोर्ट में डाल रहे हैं या कुछ भी दे विल लुक फॉर हाउ फैक्चुअल द डेटा इज अब नाउ कंपेयर जर्मन विद स्विटिश पीपल दे फोकस more on theoretical aspects they go in for strategic implications ki isse community ko kya fayda hoga approach different so therefore when i talk about the cultural differences i mean keeping in mind these aspects that will change the whole message up process of message so individuals ko jab aapne focus karna hai don't forget एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का भी अपना कल्चर होता है आप जिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम कर रहे हैं उसका अपना कल्चर है वहां कौन सा मैसेज रिसेप्टिव होगा फिर लेट मी गिव एन एग्जांपल, समबडी कमिंग फ्रॉम यूरोप समबडी हु इज इन द मार्केटिंग बिजनेस ही इज इन द क्लोथ बिजनेस क्लोथ्स बेच बेचता है और फैशन क्लोथ बेचता है कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट समबडी कमिंग टू पाकिस्तान एंड persuasively can sell skirts to our women no matter how persuasive the message is can anybody convince our lady to wear a skirt no not possible culturally not acceptable hum isi tarah se dusre muslim countries mein jaakar koi aisi cheez nahi bech sakte jo ki culturally acceptable nahi this is what when i talk about the psychographic demographic analysis persuasion is based on these two things 
Likewise, if you reject or you never learn these traditions, you will have difficulty achieving a common ground. Just ke base ke upar, aap possessive rahe. Otherwise, you'll be damaging your credibility and as well as your persuasive message. I hope you understand these aspects. Ke aap ne cultural background ko zehen mein rakhna hai, and then you will be able to only formulate a good persuasive message. You have to establish your credibility. Mind it. People are basically they are resistant. You might come across people who are skeptical, who are hostile. You have to convince people to tell them that you know what you are talking about. This is what is known as the establishing, establishing your credibility. You want to, you have to tell the person that you know what you are selling. You know it is good for that person. You know the subject. You are an expert. आप substantiate कर रहे हैं with data जैसे मैंने अभी आपको कहा कि some people will not accept unless and until it is substantiated with documents, with the, uh, with guarantees, with the statistical data. All those things will build up your credibility. That you are not speaking in the air. आप aggressively सिर्फ कोई चीज बेच नहीं रहे इट इज बेस्ड ऑन हार्ड फैक्ट्स एंड हार्ड फैक्ट्स टू बिकॉज इट इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू इट इज फॉर योर इंटरेस्ट यू आर गोइंग टू बी इन अ बेटर पोजिशन बाय बिकॉज यू आर एबल टू मेक इनफॉर्म चॉइसिस मैं आपको सारी चॉइसिस दे रहा हूं और उसमें से यू आर चूजिंग विच आई थिंक इज बेस्ट फॉर यू बिकॉज आई एम वन पर्सन हु ट्राइज to help you out in a situation where your concern is my concern so some of the ways to gain credibility are therefore that you must support your message with facts kya aap documents lagaye statistics de uh, guarantees saath lagaye that will build up your credibility must name your source ke jo information aap de rahe hain kahan se aapne information uthayi उस सोर्स की क्रेडिबिलिटी क्या है वंस आई नो समबडी राइटिंग और गिविंग इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इज नॉट बेस्ड ऑन फैक्ट बट एस्टैब्लिश्ड सोर्सेस दैट यू मस्ट गिव दैट विल बिल्ड अप योर क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड आल्सो यू हैव टू प्रूव टू द अदर पर्सन दैट आई एम एन एक्सपर्ट आप किसी डॉक्टर के पास जाते हैं यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम फ्रॉम हार्ट एलिमेंट यू गो टू अ पर्सन who is who's a heart specialist but if he has got a long experience uski credibility hogi established because he's an expert in that you will listen to that bird otherwise any other person claiming who is not an expert you will not listen so you have yourself you have to prove that you are an expert that that will add to the persuasiveness of your message you have must establish some common grounds with your रीडर मैं अगर आपको किसी चीज पे परसुएट करना चाहता हूं तो मैं आपसे कॉमन एक्सपीरियंस पे बात करूंगा मैं कॉमन बिलीव्स पे बात करूंगा मैं कॉमन एटीट्यूड पे बात करूंगा इफ आई नो कि आपका एटीट्यूड क्या है आप किस चीज में बिलीव करते हैं आई विल बी इजली एबल टू कन्विंस यू दैट इज वॉट यू शुड लुक फॉर यू शुड बी एंथुजियास्टिक शो दैट यू आर ऑब्जेक्ट यू आर यू यू आर वेरी ऑब्जेक्टिव You are goal-oriented, but again, need to tell that you are sincere, trustworthy. ये चीजें अगर नहीं होंगी readership, readership कभी आपको believe नहीं करेगी. Slightest doubt, because it's a question of faith. You are playing with the faith, so trustworthiness, sincerity, very important, and over and above, good intentions. Look around, those people who sell ideas, they sell ideas only. उनके इंटेंशन अच्छे होते एंड दे फाइंड पीपल हु बिलीव दैम हैविंग सेड दैट नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट और प्लानिंग इज मस्ट स्ट्राइव फॉर हाई एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स ओके नो मैटर व्हाट हैपेंस यू मस्ट कीप योर स्टैंडर्ड्स एथिकल हो 
आप नॉट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू सेल समथिंग एंड आप कहें कि मैं इसको बेच के आ जाऊंगा चाहे इट्स द प्रोडक्ट इज इज नॉट वॉर्थ सेलिंग यू कैन सी दिस माई आर्ट नॉट राइट परसुएशन इज 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 रॉन्गली एसोसिएटेड नॉर्मली पीपल थिंक दैट कोकसिंग अर्जिंग एंड समटाइम्स इवन ट्रिकिंग पीपल इन टू एक्सेप्टिंग इज परसुएशन माइंड एट एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन बिजनेस अगर आप बिजनेस में गुड एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स प्रैक्टिस नहीं कर रहे यू विल नॉट सर्वाइव इन अ बिजनेस लॉन्ग यू कॉन्ट कोक्स यू कॉन्ट एग्रेसिवली प्रमोट एनी थिंग ओनली बिकॉज आप यू थिंक दैट आप यू कैन प्ले विद मैंने जैसे आगे कहा कि इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ बिलीफ सिस्टम बट इफ यू आर स्मार्ट नाफ एंड यू नो वॉट्स अ बिग वीकनेस फॉर पर्सन एंड यू try to play with the emotions the beliefs of a person and you try to sell it mind you will not survive that's why i say you need to maintain good ethical practices ab to ek business ethics ke ek standards hain every corporation every organization every business um, person has to see that the actions are ethically sound एथिकली एक्सेप्टेबल नॉर्म्स जो कि इंटरनेशनली एक्सेप्टेड है उनके ऊपर आपका बेस सो लाइक वाइज यू हैव टू सी दैट पीपल शुड नॉट मिस अंडरस्टैंड दैट परसुएशन के साथ जो मिसकनसेप्शन है कि यू कैन कोक्स अ पर्सन इन टू आप एग्रेसिवली प्रमोट करके नो दिस इज नॉट परसुएशन इज नॉट एग्रेसिवली सेलिंग समथिंग एथिकल बिजनेस पीपल इन फॉर्म ऑडियंसेस the benefit of an idea wo unko batate hain ki agar aap ye ek acha idea hai agar aap isko accept karenge it's good for your organization this product is good so that's why recognition how the idea the product donation action will satisfy the need of the one who gives and the uh, and the need of the person who, who who requires that so to maintain the high ethical uh, standards of business must make uh, an attempt to persuade the person without manipulation keep in mind manipulation should never be your tool for convincing somebody persuasion ka manipulation kabhi tool nahi hona chahiye likewise because persuasion is through words so you must choose those words which would not be misinterpreted aise words jo ke log misinterpret kar sake and might think that you are trying to play with words aap manipulate kar rahe hain you will be distorting the truth okay so try to use those words which are which don't look manipulative and when can the sincerity hai or honesty hai this is what i all want to know about the organization हमने दिमाग में एक पिक्चर रिमेंबर वेन आई टॉक टू यू अबाउट ओरल कम्युनिकेशन वी डिड अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट एक्सरसाइजेस फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ आर थॉट्स मटेरियल वॉट एवर हैविंग डन दैट नेक्स्ट स्टेज कम्स डेवलपिंग द मैसेज दैट टू नीड्स फॉलोइंग सर्टन स्ट्रेटेजीज so effective persuasive messages jo hain involve uh, distinct four distinct strategies one how to frame your argument so framing your argument ke liye aapko ek khas strategy adopt karni padegi second is you must balance the emotional and logical appeals abhi humne thodi der pehle kaha we will see to it what appeals emotionally lekin sath hi uske andar logical reasoning i am going to tell you ki humne emotional appeal aur logic appeal logical appeal ko kaise balance karna and then you have to reinforce your position because basically you need to change the belief system you want to give choices and then you want the person to pick up what you want him or her to choose and then finally chauthi aapne strategy ye bhi frame karni hai ki people since are not easy to accept new ways new 
न्यू थिंग्स न्यू आइडियाज वो रेजिस्ट करेंगे आपने उस रेजिस्टेंस को कैसे डील करना है लिहाजा उसके लिए भी हमने एक स्ट्रेटजी बनानी है पहले लेट्स डिस्कस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू फ्रेम योर आर्गूमेंट जैसे हमने बाकी लेटर्स का एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल प्लान बनाया था हम अपने पर्सन मैसेज मैसेजेस का भी एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्लान फॉलो करेंगे जैसे नेगेटिव लेटर्स में बैड न्यूज लेटर्स में डिसअपॉइंटमेंट डिसअपॉइंटिंग न्यूज लेटर्स के अंदर हमने कौन सी अप्रोच की इस्तेमाल की थी इनडायरेक्ट नॉट डायरेक्ट वी नेवर गेव अ डायरेक्ट मैसेज हम पर्सन मैसेजेस में भी इनडायरेक्ट अप्रोच फॉलो करेंगे बट यू विल सी that will go beyond the indirect approach which we used previously in the negative messages aur wo kaise hamari opening will do much more than constructing a buffer kyunki ek cheez khayal karni hai ki what you initially want your reader to do is that you want to attract your reader grabbers go beyond the grabber grabber should be constructed in such a way that it attracts the attention of your reader so pehli baat aapne attention aapke message ke andar attention hogi because the your reader would woke up oh wow this is what can be done to attention second is second paragraph ke andar the explanation part does more than present Presenting the reasons. याद रहे हमने ग्रेवर के बाद रीजन दी थी हमने यहां अटेंशन ऑडियंस की ऑडियंस की अटेंशन ली है रीडर्स की अटेंशन ली है उसके बाद जब रीजनिंग कर रहे हैं वी वॉन्ट टू इन साइट द ऑडियंस इंटरेस्ट हमने उनका इंटरेस्ट इनकलकेट करना है इंटरेस्ट डेवेलप करना है ताकि दे गेट इंटरेस्टेड अटेंशन के बाद इंटरेस्ट आएगा एंड द सेकेंड चेंज यू वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू योर रीडर उनका एटीट्यूड चेंज करना है और उसके बाद उनके अंदर एक डिजायर पैदा करनी है कि वॉट ही इज सेंग आई मस्ट गेट दैट आई मस्ट डू दैट अंडरस्टैंड सो दीज आर दी वेरी स्ट्रेच फाइनली इस प्लान के अंदर द क्लोजिंग पार्ट यू क्लोज नॉर्मली इन अ पॉजिटिव नोट विद अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वॉट एक्शन इज नीडेड नॉर्मल लेटर्स में नेगेटिव लेटर्स में भी दूसरे लेटर्स में भी यहां यू विल बी एम्फिसाइज द रीडर्स बेनिफिट दैट्स वेयर वी गो इन अ डिफरेंट मच फादर हेड विल एम्फिसाइज के रीडर के इसमें बेनिफिट क्या है एंड वी विल मोटिवेट द रीडर टू टेक सम स्पेसिफिक एक्शन ये हमारा प्लान दैट्स हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फ्रेम आर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स अब मैं इसको फर्दर डिटेल्स में लेकर जाऊंगा वेन टॉक अबाउट ऑर्गेनाइजिंग Persuasive messages. I say using a plan which involves four. Screen पे देखिए मैंने पहले कहा मैंने attention की बात की थी interest की बात की थी desire की बात की थी मैं उसके बाद action की मैं थोड़ा सा one by one detail में जा रहा हूं अब first is get your reader's attention. So therefore you have to begin the message with an attention getting statement. That is that statement should be personalized. वही जो हमने audience सेंटर टोन वाली बात की थी तो यहां वेन यू आर कैचिंग द अटेंशन ऑफ योर ऑडियंस देन यू हैव टू सी टू इट दैट द मैसेज इज पर्सनलाइज दैट इज इसके अंदर यू ओरिएंटेड मैसेज हो यू एटीट्यूड हो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड हो और ये रेलिवेंट हो लेट मी डेल वॉन दिस पार्ट ऑफ अटेंशन ऑफ इट क्योंकि हाउ कैन यू अट्रैक्ट द अटेंशन ऑफ अ रीडा स्ट्रेट अवे मुझे बताइए कि ग्रैबर कैसे आप किसी को मैं अगर आपको कोई चीज बेचना चाहता हूं कैसे बेच सकता हूं हाउ कैन आई अट्रैक्ट अटेंशन वन आई कैन टेल यू लुक यू कैन सेव मनी हाई क्वालिटी स्टाफ यू कैन सेव योर टाइम क्योंकि आई एम गोइंग टू सेल इट ऑन योर डोर स्टेप देन इट विल सेव यू फ्रॉम द फ्रस्ट्रेशन Otherwise, you might have come across. आप कहेंगे अच्छा उसी कीमत में at my doorstep saves the time 
saves money, I have attracted them. I have grabbed the attention. Otherwise, if you know that you are happy with a product, I'm going to use television. And he, I said, I'm going to replace your television with a new one. Now, here, you have never thought about your life. You have 10 years old television. I am going to give you a new television. I will give you a new one. Here is an attention. Grabber, I have given you. You are attracted. See to it. This is what is mean in the introduction that you have to attract the attention of your reader. Then, second phase, you have to build your reader's interest. How? I said, I will replace your television. You will be now more interested in knowing how the plan works. Now I have not told you this. That you have to give part installments. Most may not. But at least I have made you think. I have achieved one objective. That I have made you think to replace your television with a new model. You had never thought of it. This is the art of persuasion. Because I have attracted your attention and I have generated interest. I have built interest into the reader by telling now further how the plan works. Then I will elaborate on my main theme. I will relate benefits specifically to the attention getter. Now that you are interested in replacing your television, what are the benefits? In the past, you can only केवल भी पचास चैनल्स देख सकते हैं, इसमें आप डेढ़ सौ देख सकते हैं। आह, ओके, there you are, you are now interested. Then I'll tell you कि ये आपका already दस साल पुराना है, you are getting a new one. This is how I am, you see, convincing you, I am motivating you. My next then phase third would be, I will increase the reader's desire. Having told, having attracted the attention, अब उसकी increase होगी desire. मैं he or she would be interested. I'll tell the person that there's a possibility कि आपका ये television दो साल के बाद खराब हो जाए and then you might have to spend so much money. So you'll be saved so much money if you buy it today. That's where that's how you'll persuade your reader to look for the Choices. वही बात मैंने की ही कहीं शुरू में कि you tell them what are the various options available and now your reader has started thinking about what are the various options available. You make your reader, you make your audience want to change by explaining how the change will benefit and then you back up your audience with relevant evidence. इस तरह कर लोगे तो ये हो जाएगा इतने पैसे सेव कर लोगे ये मॉडल लोगे तो थोड़ा सा इतना ज्यादा पैसा होगा बट दैट्स हाउ यू परसुएट योर एंड द फोर्थ वन इज दैट यू मोटिवेट योर रीडर टू टेक एक्शन यू हैव चेंज द बिलीव सिस्टम पहले वो बिलीव कर रहा था कि मुझे टेलीविजन की जरूरत नहीं नाउ द द पर्सन इज रेडी टू बाय अ न्यू टेलीविजन एंड यू हैव प्लेस बिफोर दैट पर्सन डिफरेंट मॉडल्स डिफरेंट प्राइसेस डिफरेंट प्लान्स नाउ यू वांट हिम और हर टू टेक एक्शन you want to suggest a specific step the audience can take to uh, go into the action. You can stress the positive results. You can make the desired action clear and easy for your reader. See how with a plan, how organizing, how strategically planning and with all the details you have been able to construct a persuasive message which will easily be able to put the reader into action. Aapne usko belief system bhi change kar diya, aapne usko action pe bhi, uske desire usme create ki. When choosing this plan, keep in mind that you must narrow your objective. Jab bhi kisi ko koi naya idea sell karein, तो आपका भी गोल बहुत क्लियर होना चाहिए 
you must not do too many things at one time. Let me give you another example. Supposing you go to a community where there are many thieves, and you have got a unique security system, and you go and convince that person exactly the same strategy you plan with that, and you want to sell a system, telling, "Look here, a key with a small device. Once you put it on, you can move anywhere." You'll get a beep if somebody intrudes in, into your house. Such a foolproof system. You, मगर अगर आप उसे ये कहें कि since you have got a very good collection of antiques at your place, आपके लिए ये system बहुत अच्छा है. बेचते बेचते शायद ये भी कहें कि जी आप उन उन antiques को insurance insurance भी करा लें because you are running an insurance company too. Don't do that. If you are you are having more than one objective at the same time, the person might not even buy the security system. आपका गोल बड़ा क्लियर होना चाहिए वन टाइम वन क्लियर ऑब्जेक्टिव सो यू मस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन योर केस एंड ओनली अकॉम्प्लिशिंग वन गोल एट अ टाइम हैविंग सेड दैट आई थिंक विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल यू आर फ्रेमिंग योर आर्गुमेंट इज दैट यू हैव टू Balance your emotional and logical appeals. Because selling me at times, you will get emotionally excited. I mean, just as I have said before, you will you will try to find the commonalities of the belief system, commonalities of the uh, common ground. You will find experiences, attitudes. However, the only way is. You can do is that you appeal to the emotion of us. So, how do you actually convince a reader that your position is the right one, and how can you convince that the plan which you have already given will work? That is, its mind and heart. If they synchronize, करे, दिल भी कहे हाँ ये ठीक है, और mind भी कहे हाँ ऐसी बात ठीक है, then persuasive message will be very effective. आपके persuasive messages में ये दो एस्पेक्ट्स बहुत क्लियर होने चाहिए एक इमोशनल नीड्स और दूसरी लॉजिकल नीड्स यू नीड टू फाइंड द राइट बैलेंस इमोशनल और लॉजिकल नीड्स अब देखिए कीप इन माइंड राइटिंग इफेक्टिवली परसुएसिव मैसेज यू हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट ऑल दीज थिंग्स आप बड़े साइंटिफिकली आप लॉजिकली इन चीजों को अप्रोच कर रहे हैं Finding the right balance depends on again four factors. One, the action or the actions you wish to motivate. Up, you have to keep in mind that जब आप emotional or logical needs को balance करना चाहेंगे तो you keep in mind कि आप अपने reader में को motivate किस बात पे करेंगे कि वो कौन से action है. उसमें इमोशनल एलिमेंट कितना होना चाहिए उसमें लॉजिकल एलिमेंट दैट यू नीड टू नो यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड कि व्हाट इज द रीडर एक्सपेक्टिंग उसकी एक्सपेक्टेशंस क्या है अगर वो आपको डोनेशन देता है आप उसे डोनेशन मांग रहे हैं सलाब आ गया है यू आर मोटिवेटिंग दो उसकी एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या है आपने उसकी इमोशनल नीड को अगर टच किया है एंड ही और शी मे बी वेरी पोअर पर्सन यू मस्ट यू हैव सीन Examples in our own country, very poor people contributing for an emotional cause. हर अगर वो logically सोचते तो कभी ना देते, but because the appeal was close to their uh, emotional needs, हम सब की emotional needs हैं. मेरे पास कम पैसा होगा, लेकिन at times I would like to share that with the one who is suffering to satisfy my emotional needs. But the question is, what is what does the reader expect? So whatever I am donating is reaching that very. That is what you have to. So when you are balancing that, keep in mind, reader's expectation. What is it? And then, the third aspect is the degree of resistance you must overcome. When I am balancing this, where will resistance come from? Emotional or logical? 
मैं किसी को कहता हूं वो कहेगा मैं तो खुद बड़ा गरीब हूं मैं नहीं दे सकता बट वेन आई से लुक हेर हु नोज टू मोरो द नेचुरल क्लैमिटी माई ठीट योर एरिया तुम जिस एरिया में रहते हो यहां से लाभ आ जाए फिर क्या होगा दैट्स वॉट यू सी यू हैव टू वो डिग्री ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस को आपने कैसे कम करना है पर्सन इज मैसेज हाउ फार यू फील यू आर एम्पावर टू गो इन सेलिंग योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आपके पास कितनी एम्पावरमेंट है कितनी आप उस कॉज को आ, पे काम कर सकते हैं अगेन जस्ट लुक अराउंड पीपल हु हैव वर्क इन द सोशल सेक्टर कईयों ने कहा कि नहीं ये मुमकिन ही नहीं ये हो ही नहीं सकता इस मुल्क में कैसे हो सकता है उन्होंने कहा नहीं दो पीपल वर रियली एम्पावर्ड उन्होंने कहा नहीं हो सकता है एंड दे एस्टैब्लिश इट दैट इज एग्जैक्टली दिस इज दर्सुएशन दैट वेन यू इधर मेक अ रिटर्न परसुएसिव मैसेज और एन ओरल परसुएसिव मैसेज हैज टू बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू इट द एलिमेंट हैज टू बी देयर हाउ एम्पावर्ड यू आर हाउ डिटर्म यू आर हाँ नहीं मैं कर सकता हूं because then you balance that emotion the logic appeals you make to the people that the people come at your people come running and give it to you the logic we know that the cause is very close to our heart do you understand that's what i want to tell you main aapko ye cheeze isliye clear kar raha hu ki aap apni everyday examples mein dekhe you will see ki kaise in cheezon ko balance karke aapka persuasive message bahut effective ho sakta hai let me talk to you a bit about emotional appeals an emotional appeal calls on human feelings it it's based on argument uh on audience needs or sympathies talking about the emotional needs you can make use of the the words the emotional words like freedom right hamara hamara future आर सर्वाइवल रिमेंबर मैंने ओरल कम्युनिकेशन में ऐसे आपको वर्ड्स बताए विच टच अपॉन योर योर इमोशनल पाथ लाइक वॉज इज इन बिजनेस क्रेडिबिलिटी आपका आपका अकाउंटेबिलिटी क्या होगी लोगों की नजर के अंदर आपका क्रेडिट स्टैंडिंग अच्छी है या बुरी है ऑनेस्टी your fairness your good image these touch upon the emotional uh, elements of your personality so when you really want to make a persuasive message then you have to employ words which which arouse or which touch upon the emotional aspect of your your life your your character but keep in mind you cannot ask somebody to change the belief or change the lifestyle only on emotions it is based on logical appeals as well means koi cheez meri logical reasoning se beyond hogi to main khali emotional emotions mein play karke wo cheez accept nahi karunga lekin as i said to you that we have seen in the past in in life that people at times logic ko overcome karke they get flowed into the emotional requirements and they accept the persuasive message but not always you have to create a balance so emotional appeals jab aap kare to logical appeals ko bhi nazar both go together entirely emotional will not work all the time entirely logical no because we are human beings and we care for each other we care for our reputation for our our our, our good name our our life our we really want to know that people remember us with good with good impressions so lihaza logical appeal be important hai logical appeal ke liye three things are again very important the one is drawing an analogy agar main aap se ye kahun ke dekho aap is company mein kaam kar rahe ho you must be loyal to the company no amount of reasoning perhaps would affect you unless and until i tell you baba look here this company is your home this is your family aapke employees aapki family hain aur ye company aapka ghar hai 
Abba has drawn an analogy. Once you start comparing it like that, you know, yes, we live so many hours together. Main yahan se apni bread earning karta hu. So this analogy would work. I said, treat your colleagues like your brothers and sisters. Good analogy, convincing, persuasive. So, lehaza, you can draw analogy when you are uh, making a persuasive message. Second logical would be uh, induction. That is, you uh, give reasoning, specific evidence, and use it for general conclusion. Specific evidence, ye ke hamari company ne flan jaga marketing ki or hamara product was at the top. People bought our product, right? So what what you're doing is you are a specific occasion ko generalize kar rahe ho. That is test marketing jaha hamara product was the best selling product. मैं उसको एक स्पेसिफिक ओकेजन को जनरलाइज कर रहा हूं दिस इज हाउ यू ड्रॉ लॉजिकल कंक्लूजन बाय द मेथड ऑफ इंडक्शन यू कैन एम्प्लॉय दैट टू द थर्ड इज द डिडक्शन मेथड डिडक्शन स्ट्रेटजी दैट इज यू यू वांट टू कन्विंस योर बॉस टू हायर मोर एम्प्लॉइज एंड your your boss doesn't get easily convinced but if you tell the person that because the industry wide projection tells us it shows that the activity in this very field is going to grow very rapidly in the next three months and there will be a great demand for this very specified skills of employees we might as well start looking for employees today you understand that is you have deduced aapne deduce kiya hai from uh, ek generalization say to specific future need of your company this is a logical reasoning of convincing your boss that we must employ more people today taaki extrapolation projection ye batati hai ki aainda we will be needing uh, more employees that's how यू कैन यूज अ लॉजिकल रीजनिंग तो आज मैंने आपको बैलेंसिंग द इमोशनल एंड लॉजिक लॉजिक रीजन बताई हैं दैट इज इन इन ऑर्डर टू मेक इन एफेक्टिव पर्सन मैसेज आगे आके आई कंटिन्यू ऑन दिस वेरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ बैलेंसिंग बिकॉज आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू अवॉइड सेट मोर फ्लॉज इन टू दिस वेरी बैलेंसिंग एक्ट what you should be avoiding i will continue on in my my further next lecture but for the time being i would like to conclude over here that whatever i have said to you so far in this lecture you must carefully look into the, into these aspects that before you frame before you construct your persuasive message you must organize it very well and the planning should be taking into consideration the very important aspect of demographic and psychographics and that should be balanced with the with the cultural background because if you do not incorporate the cultural aspect then you will be making a blunder by selling or composing messages which people will not buy i hope uh, till that if you understand fairly well inshallah i'll continue on further from where i end today but do remember that you have to do your homework well these are the important things and these things are really going to change your life i mean your professional life thank you very much talk to you again in the next lecture khuda hafiz